Hello everyone. Today we're going to do another in our series of videos we call Kitchen Basics. Today we're going to do some simple oat milk. To make our oat milk we're going to use one cup of steel cut oats, about one tablespoon of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla, one medium size ripe banana, four cups of water, and then some additional water in a bowl to soak our oats. So let's get started. Alright, the first step in making our oat milk is we're going to take our steel cut oats and we're going to put them in the water to soak. And put them in there, give them a little stir, make sure they're all wet. And then we're going to let these soak for at least 20 minutes or you could go for a couple hours. Okay, after our oats have soaked for at least 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and give them a rinse. So we're going to put our oats into a sieve. Okay, now that our oats are in the sieve, we're going to turn the water on and just rinse them off as best we can. Alright, now that we've rinsed our oats, the next step is to put everything in the blender. So the first thing we're going to do is put our oats in the blender. Now we're going to put our water in. Now we're using four cups of water. If you use only three cups of water, you'll end up with a little thicker, creamier milk. Depends on what kind of milk you're looking for. Next, we're going to put our vanilla in. And our maple syrup. And last but not least, we're going to put our banana in. Okay, we're going to cover this. We're going to turn it on low. And we're going to slowly raise it to a high speed. You only need to run it for 10 or 15 seconds at high speed and then bring it back down and shut it off. All right, now that we've got our oat milk blended, we filter it. So we took our sieve again and we're just going to pour it back through our sieve. Okay, you may need to stop along the way and scrape your sieve down to try to remove some of the solids out of the way to allow the milk to get through. And we're just going to continue this process till we get through the whole blender full of oat milk. As you go through this process, you want to save this oat pulp that you're getting out of your sieve. You can mix it in with your morning oatmeal cereal, or you can dry it and use it for oat flour. We filtered our oat milk once. We're going to go ahead and filter it again. What we did was rinse out the blender, and then we're just going to run our milk back through our sieve, right back into the blender again. And then we're going to rinse out our measuring cup and run it back into the measuring cup again. Maybe do this two or three times. Try to get as much of the pulp out as you can. Okay, we filtered our oat milk back and forth a couple times between our blender and our measuring cup. Now we're going to put it into a couple of jars so we can store it. We're going to use mason jars. You can use whatever you have handy. When you store this in the refrigerator and it gets cold, it may settle. So before you use it, just make sure you pull it out of the fridge and give it a good shake before you try to pour it or drink it. And there you have it. A simple, easy oat milk. Eat and enjoy. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please subscribe. Or click on the Patreon link below. Or you can click on the videos from last week. Bye. Bye.